All right, we've got a ripe Texas BA1 fig down there. This is a two-year-old tree about. Last year was just kind of a growing season. And then uh, had a little bit of freeze back during this freeze, but uh, these main trunks were protected by the uh, cabana right there. So we got a decent amount of wood to start from this year. And all the new growth is basically shot from the side there this year. It's uh, middle of June. 2023 no sorry it's beginning of july 2023 and uh this is kind of not really a productive variety there's not much figs popping up but uh i guess it's one of those you know that puts on more after it after it uh, gets established but uh, it did fall over a little bit so it might have set it back a little bit got the right pig right here Oh yeah, look at that cracking. It's supposed to be similar to Smith. I've tried one and it was very similar. Oh yeah, that came right off. Yeah, very similar to Smith. A little better looking appearance. But, uh, for what? Oh yeah. Nice size. Nice cracking, pretty cool. Let's get some light over here. Yeah, I like that. Oh yeah. Some nice colors to it. Some brown spots from the sugars. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of watered down tasting. Might be watering this tree a little too much. But there is a little hint of berry in there. The skin's kind of a medium soft texture but uh, pretty juicy on the inside but also you kind of get a little dry bite at the end hmm. I'm thinking I like Smith more right now Smith's just a little more juicy has a better berry taste but once this tree gets established a little more we'll definitely have to do a comparison Smith versus Texas BA1 Thanks for watching.